Hey folks, how's it going? Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Johnny. Today's the fifth in a series of doing about gotchas when working with paginated reports. Today, we're going to look at headers. So, I'm here to talk about headers. No, not that type of header. Headers on a paginated report. This week, we're going to be jumping straight into our report. If you haven't been following along with the video so far, I'll put a link for you here. And the first header we're going to look at today is this title at the top. So if you have been following along with the videos, each week you've probably seen this placeholder here, click to add title. And for anyone who's got OCD, it's probably driving me mad that I haven't actually clicked and added a title. Now, finally, I am going to add the title. Now by default, even though in the design view you can see the click to add title text, that isn't actually displayed when the reports run. As you can see at the top here, that's still blank. Now my preference for adding a report title is to use one of these built-in fields. If you go to the top left of your report data pane and expand this folder, you can see the Report Builder has got various built-in fields that return metadata about the report. And one of those options is Report Name. So I can select that option and drag it onto my Report Title placeholder. And that means that my report will dynamically adopt the name of the report as its title. So if you were to rename the report, you don't have to worry about going into the title placeholder and changing it. It'll just pick up that change automatically. However, if we run that report in Report Builder, you can see here it hasn't worked. Now that isn't because that function doesn't work. It's just that it only works when you've actually published your report up to the Power BI service. When you're running it in Report Builder, it doesn't display. So whilst it's usually my preference to use that built-in field for my title, for the sake of demonstration, today I'm going to use a hard-coded title. And if I run that now, my report now has a title. If I navigate to page two of my report, my title disappears. So that title is only pinned to the top of page one. And that might well be how you like it. Perhaps you prefer that the title shows once and once only. But personally, I prefer my report pages to be a bit more uniform. And I like my titles to be repeated at the top of every page. So if you want to do that, you actually have to add a header to your report, which is really simple. If we navigate to the insert option in the ribbon, get over on the right hand side a header option click that add header and this header area has now appeared in our report we can simply drag our existing title into that header box and let's tighten up our tab links so that it's at the top of the report And now when we run this, you can see the title at the top of page one, and it's still there on page two, and page three, and so on and so forth. What you might have noticed though, is we no longer have column headers. If I go to my first page, I've got column headers here to describe the contents of each column. Once I go to page two and beyond, those column headers disappear. Personally, I think it's definitely good practice to have those column headers appear at the top of each page. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very easy to get confused as to which numbers are appearing in which column. So how can we do that? If we go into the report, my first instinct would be to select the header row from my tablix. But if we take a look at the properties pane on the right hand side, I can't find any properties here with regards to repeating those column headers. But if I select the whole tablet as opposed to just the header row, 
we get a different set of properties again. Here, we have a repeat column headers property. Let's set that to true. And let's run the report. And let's see what changes that property done to our report. So let's navigate to page two and it's made no difference. So is it possible to set a property to make sure that column headers are repeated on each page? Yes, it is, but it's very, very well hidden. In fact, it's buried stupidly deep in the user interface. I mean, really, Microsoft ought to be giving away prizes if you can find this by yourself. So play close attention. First, we are gonna navigate down here to this column group window. And you will see a tiny little chevron just here. Click on that chevron. We can select advanced mode. Selecting advanced mode in our row groups gives us these three gray bars. Now these bars represent the makeup of our tablets. So the top bar is for the header, the bottom bar is for the footer where we've got our grand totals, and then the middle bar constitutes the, the details of the information contained within the tablets. If I click on the top bar for the header, you'll see that the properties pane on the right has changed. So we've got a set of properties that are specific to those column headers. And as you can see, we've got a repeat on new page property. Like that, click true. So we're saying that we want our row group that contains our column headers to be repeated on each new page and then run a report. So page one has our column headers. Page two, there we go. We've got them on page two as well. Page three, and if we navigate to our last page, there we have it. Column headers being repeated on each page. So I've taken you through two types of header. You've got the report header, where you might want to hold information such as a report title, and then column headers on tables. So you know how to now make sure that those headers appear on every page as well. Now we're still not done with our gotchas. Please do carry on tuning in, and I'll take you through more ways that the paginated report builder might just catch you out. And we will get to a point where this report is ready for production. I hope that's been useful. As always, if you've got any questions or feedback, please don't be afraid to slide them into that comment section below. If you have enjoyed the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along for more content about Power BI, and especially if you'd like to follow along with this series about paginated reports, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.